Intel used to make top-of-the-line network adapters. After all, it was Intel who forced the world to accept Wi-Fi with their Sentinel laptops. Same goes with Ethernet. Intel was one of the first who made decent and affordable 1 gigabit and later 2.5 gigabit and 10 gigabit network adapters. They were reliable and performed really well, especially compared to cheaper options like Realtek. However, nowadays Realtek continues to produce mediocre network adapters, but unfortunately the options from Intel became a headache. And the biggest problem, they are very often built into the motherboard or use a daughter board and it may be a little bit hard to replace them with something else. For example, Intel Wi-Fi adapters of the AC series, for example AC160, have been suffering from poor drivers for at least three years now. And Intel Ethernet adapters of the i series, for example i219V in this case, often report code 10 error in Windows, which means the device cannot start. And yes, that is an I, not an L. However, the particular model is not important, since the fix I'm going to show you should work on all Intel Ethernet controllers. If you try to search for a solution online, some wild suggestions may come up. For example, disabling all your USB concentrators in your device manager in Windows or manually reinstalling Intel Ethernet driver with something else, which will still give you a code 10 error. And others suggest that you need to go to the properties of the misbehaving Intel Ethernet adapter and disable certain additional features like energy efficient Ethernet and all the wake settings, for example, wake on LAN, which is wake on magic packet. Some will suggest to disable above 4G decoding in BIOS settings to resolve this issue, and this actually may help if you have an AIM4 socket motherboard with BIOS from 2020 or so. So if you disable above 4G decoding on those motherboards and your Intel Ethernet connection starts to work and you still need above 4G decoding enabled, for example, for resizable bar to work, that means that you need to update your motherboard BIOS. Others will suggest just to unplug your computer from the wall socket and unplug the Ethernet cable, let it stand for about 5 minutes and then plug everything back in. If after that your connection starts to work, that means that you may want to disable fast startup in Windows Energy settings in the What Power Buttons Do section. If none of that helps, someone online will assume that you have just fried your Ethernet port, especially if there was a lightning strike. And you should just go and buy a PCIe expansion card with Ethernet and insert it into your PC if it's a desktop, and on a laptop just connect a USB Ethernet adapter. Well, that is certainly a possibility, however, most Intel Ethernet adapters are able to sustain 15 kilovolts and still not be fried. So a burnt Ethernet port is certainly a possibility, but the probability of that causing your networking issues is very low, especially if the network port still has some lights shining up, for example the orange LED. So the actual reason for this problem is that Intel adapters have NVRAM memory where they store certain parameters, and sometimes these data gets corrupted. And all you need to do is to reset the NVRAM inside your Intel Ethernet adapter and everything will be working just fine. So what you need to do is to go to Intel website and download Ethernet Preboot Utility. For Windows, it's a zip archive. Potentially, you can make a boot drive with it and boot your computer and then fix everything, but you don't need to. All you need to do is to unpack this file into a folder on your PC, then open a command prompt with administrative privileges and change directory to this folder. I will not go into much detail on how to do this, since I personally consider using command prompt a basic computer literacy skill. So if you don't know how to do this, search online for a tutorial. After you have opened command prompt from admin 
and navigate it to this folder where you have Intel Preboot Utilities unpacked, make sure to disconnect Ethernet cable from the Intel Ethernet adapter. Now, the first thing you need to do is to run install.bat batch file to install the necessary drivers. And after that is installed, you have to run one of the utilities with two parameters in either of the following ways. The first one is when you specify the NIC, which is the Ethernet adapter, you want to reset. In this case, it's minus one NIC one, which is the first Ethernet controller, the only one present on this machine, and then also specify the default config parameter, or you can reset all the Ethernet adapters. This is safe to do when you have only one adapter from Intel, which will be the case in most situations. So then you just specify minus all and minus def config, which is the shortened version of default config. So after you run this command, it will successfully reset the NVRAM settings stored inside Intel controller. Then you can reboot your PC, connect back the Ethernet cable, and your Intel Ethernet adapter will start working again. If running the default config command gives you an error, unable to locate the driver component, that means that you don't listen to what you're being told, and you did not run install.bat to install the necessary drivers. Do that now, and then repeat the command, and this time it should work. Again, this is a hardware issue. The difference between, for example, Realtek Ethernet controllers and Intel Ethernet controllers is that Realtek is a software-based solution. That means that it does most of the processing on your CPU, while an Intel Ethernet controller is a hardware solution, and most of the processing is done on the chip inside the Ethernet controller itself. That means that reinstalling Windows will not help, and even installing Linux instead of Windows also won't help. You need to clear the NVRAM settings. And if you are using Linux, on the same web page, Intel provides a Linux version of the same utility, and running it to reset your Intel Ethernet connection in Linux is very similar to doing that in Windows. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells!